Hi, my name is Emma Crabb. I am a senior at Ogallala High School. Mountainside! And this is my poem entitled Narcissus Pools. My sanity has been invaded by mansplainers, propped up with their own self-confidence and the compassionate certainty that I, with feminine fingers, a matriarchal mind, and eyelashes batting in sheer confusion, am helpless. Mansplainers who see my raised hand in calculus class to be a flashing SOS signal encoded in a language only they can read. Saviors that trace the map of paper in front of my face. It's a pretty tricky concept, but I think I have it figured out for you. My raised hand still begging for permission to go to the bathroom. I finished my assignment 10 minutes ago. People who see my raised hand and expect me to be something more than I am, to expect to be something better. Boys who build computers so they are automatically more skilled than the IT department and automatically know what's wrong with mine. So skilled at placing together pre-made parts, congratulations, you could work for IKEA. <laughs> Bandsplainers who don't understand that using long words nobody understands isn't clever, it's narcissistic. Gazing into a pool of self-worth tainted with the image of something far nobler. Gaze deeply and pretend to stand before the ocean. They use long words as a unit of measurement for their egos. They try, but I have better words than them. I have wrapped my worries around too many books and let the pages dissolve them. They cannot touch me here. I let myself fall into my narcissus pool until the words drown me and my veins are more water than blood. I have no mercy because you see misogynists don't spring from the womb fully grown. Their first words are not all men, they're well actually. Wobbly first steps are not taken towards a woman at night, keys clutched in her hands as the street lights flash over her face, but to the next lab station. I did it this way. Before hands reach between legs, they tap on shoulders. You're doing it wrong. And as I stand and walk through the hallways with my chin held high, how dare they press their thumb against my chin to force me lower until my face is black and blue. But I always rise. The, the glimmer in their eyes dims, and that's one battle I've won. One down with so many more to go, but every bruise, every comment, every metallic taste on my tongue is worth its weight in gold. After all, we just reached integrals in calculus class, and the mansplainer is drowning, gulping up uncertainty and spitting out wrong answers. If he asks for help, I'll throw him a rope, but for now, I sit under a shady tree. The summer breeze warm against my skin as I watch his pool shrink by the second.